Hey Cora, so I'm going to be expanding on your discussion. You essentially talked about the benefits associated with flexibility and how they uh, vary throughout the individual's desires, such as a sport that they could be participating in or if it's more of a health-related goal. So you predominantly focus on skill-related or sport-related um, benefits associated with uh, flexibility and increased range of motion. So the book also mentions how that the benefits associated kind of vary um, from sport to sport. They could either do nothing, they could benefit, or they could potentially harm depending on what the individual is going to do. So you talked about sprinting and jumping, so more track and field related and focused. So I wanted to expand on that. So or like find another um, sport to compare to. So I decided to look into the effects of football and increased flexibility training. So I also know that age is a factor. So, well, the article is called the effects of a selected football training program on physical fitness elements of young boys. So, it is a 2005 article, and the author um, and researcher is Nabavi Kalidin. Um, and what they do here is um, some young boys between 7 to 11 years of age um, enrolled in a summer football program. But this summer football program, when enrolling it, is giving consent to be a part of the study where they increase the um, flexibility training to determine whether it could be a potential benefit for young males to do when desiring like a better football outcome, well, performance. So what they had them do was take a baseline um, exam and they used seven fitness tests to determine whether they had um, received benefits from increased flexibility. So I'm going to list them. Um, it was the shuttle test, the sit-up test, the standing board jump test, flex arm hanging test, short dash test, the sit and reach test, and an endurance test. So what they did was three days of the week, for three weeks, they had these individuals participate in flexibility, in a flexibility program to better their range of motion and what they found was that they were statistically beneficial effects and what this means is it was they said it was greater than or equal to 0 0.05 and we know the closer you are to 0 0.01 means the more statistically effective this is you know the experiment so they found significant effect on agility, endurance in abdominal muscles, and flexibility. Flexibility. Now, a thing to note is that these were males. They were young boys, which is another factor, age and gender. So it can't say that girls would respond to the same way. And this is like a middle school range. So it could be beneficial to have participants or future um, athletes En enroll in a fitness, no, excuse me, a flexibility program at this age because it did prove to have ben benefiting factors when compared to their baseline. And this might not be the same for older, whether they're college level, high school level, or professional level football players. So it would be good for young boys to enroll or for sports and PE classes to encourage flexibility training. Again, as the book has mentioned and as other examples prove, not all um, flexibility training programs are consistent with the same positive benefits. Some could be harmful, some could do nothing, and some could be really beneficial. And football at this young age or individuals who aspire to be better in football could potentially benefit from this, according to this 2005 study by Kelly Dean.